The home of Arizona Diamondbacks baseball is Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Touch them all, a tribute to Greg Schulte, an Arizona sports special. Here's Dave Burns. Eddie Perez at the plate, right-handed hitter, the pinch hitter for Bobby Cox. Johnson looks in, he's got his side, the big unit ready. And the 2-2 pitch, he struck him out! Perfection, Randy Johnson! A perfect game on this Tuesday night, May 18th. And his teammates rush onto the field to mob the big unit. One of literally hundreds, if not thousands, of memorable calls from Greg Schulte throughout the course of the years. So we welcome you back to our Touch Em All special here on the flagship home of the Diamondbacks, Arizona Sports. My name is Dave Burns, uh, a born and raised native Arizonan. So for me, it's a real treat that I was asked to host this. And for me, I'm just going to sit back and just let two maestros work uh-huh. for the next 10 minutes. Uh, because for a kid growing up in Phoenix, this is absolutely a dream come true right now to be able to introduce the now retired but forever voice of the Phoenix Suns, Al McCoy, who joins us here on Touch Em All, our tribute to Greg Schulte as Greg joins us in studio. Al, welcome to the show, my friend. I hope this finds you well. Thank you for coming on to Honor Greg. How are you, sir? Well, it's uh, terrific to be a part of uh, this special salute to, to Greg. Uh, what a career he's had. And continues to have, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Great to be able to visit with you. Greg, Al, take it away. Al. Well, Al, we got to start with basketball. What did you think of the eight move today? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Huh? No, no comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, Al, tell me about tell me about your your time with Greg, both, you know, on the mic, off the mic, the friendship and the professional respect you two developed for each other. Tell me about, tell me about your history with Greg Schulte and what you think of when we talk about Greg. Well, obviously uh, we've had a tremendous uh, relationship through the years, but uh, you know, going back even uh, prior to that, uh, I came to, uh, to Phoenix to do baseball and the old, uh, triple-A Pacific Coast League with the Phoenix Giants. And uh, at that time, uh, I thought my future was going to be in the San Francisco Giant organization uh, someday. Uh, However, the the Suns came around, and I had the opportunity to to get with a team uh, that I had always maybe uh, dreamed about, and uh, and, uh, the baseball thing was kind of pushed aside. But uh, when it became a reality, and of course I was uh, involved with, with the Suns and, and with Jerry Colangelo, who was the general manager, and uh, at that time, uh, Jerry and I talked about the, the baseball broadcasting situation, and uh, he asked me if I wanted to make a move and leave the Suns and, and go to baseball. And I did give it some thought. But uh, at that time, uh, having... Uh, developed a a relationship and a friendship, of course, with Greg, knowing how he loved the game of baseball and grew up uh, as a great baseball fan in the Midwest. I knew that this was uh, one of his potential dreams to be the voice of a major league baseball team. And I passed that along to Jerry. And Jerry immediately agreed and said, well, you know, Greg would be a great guy. And uh, so I like to think maybe that uh, I, I gave a, a little shot there with Jerry Colangelo uh, because I knew that uh, this is something that Greg had really uh, had a goal to be a Major League Baseball announcer, and I knew he'd do a great job. And I think Jerry Colangelo realized it also, and, of course, it became a, a reality. Now, just getting back to my relationship with Greg, as, as you know, we worked together uh, on the uh, Suns broadcast for a number of years. Oh, yeah. And, you know, being a couple of Midwest guys, uh, I think we both respected each other's ability and uh, became not only uh, professional friends, but became very, very good friends as we have continued to this day. Uh, he's number one on my list, no <laughs> question about it. Well, you're number one on everybody's list, Al. There's no doubt about that. And thanks for uh being here tonight, and uh, this has been uh, fun already. I can tell you that much. Uh, 
Uh, but I'm ready to go. And uh, like you, you know, there comes a time and uh, uh, this is a time for me to kind of break away. Greg, what um, you, you talked in the first segment about kind of learning from Al yeah. and, and, you know, sitting next to him and, and tell us a little bit about that, about some of the, not necessarily some of the lessons that you learned, but just how you honed your craft as a broadcaster working next to somebody like Al. Well, number one, Al always made the game the thing, you know, it was never about him. It was always about the Phoenix Suns, and it was always about NBA basketball. And I think that's one thing that maybe goes uh, unnoticed with Al. Uh, maybe people don't realize his love for the game of basketball, period. I mean, he, he loved the Phoenix Suns. That's number one. But his just his love for basketball over the years has been uh, just unbelievable. I mean, he always appreciated what the other team did, always gave credit to the other team uh, when the Suns weren't playing well. Uh, he let it know. He didn't get on them hard. But, I mean, Al would, you know, let the fans know out there that the Suns weren't playing Suns basketball, and this was not a good night. You you can't sit next to Al for 15 seasons, as I did, and not pick things up. Uh, uh, just his work ethic. Uh, he had a, uh, a re regular routine that he would go through, the interviews with the coaches. He was very well respected, uh, always took time to talk to the players. They would take time to, to talk with him. And I tried to bring that into my work uh, arena and, uh, you know, carry it on in baseball that way. But uh, it, like I said, you can't work with someone as great as Al is and has been in uh, not only uh, as an NBA broadcaster, but as a professional uh, broadcaster and, and not pick up quite a few different items. Al, you have any retirement uh, tips and hints <laughs> for Mr. Schulte here on his way out the door? Well, as I mentioned, uh, certainly uh, the career that Greg has had has been fantastic. I mean, uh, winning the World Series over the Yankees, uh, uh, the, some of the great games that he's called with individual players, has just been uh, terrific, and he certainly deserves uh, everything, the accolades that he has received for the job that he's done. And uh, it's kind of interesting, and I, I think probably uh, since I have officially retired, uh, how, how we learn that we do affect people's lives. And uh, that's a great feeling to know that uh, there are people that listen to Greg on the Diamondback games night in and night out that have listened to me all the years night in and night out and that it means something to them as a part of their lives. And I think probably uh, that's something that I really have come to realize uh, just in the last year. Uh, and certainly Greg has reached that, uh, that pinnacle in his career with the games that he's called and with the people that he's affected with his broadcasts. And I think uh, Greg would agree, as now uh, I have retired, he's getting close to that situation. It's kind of a nice feeling to know that perhaps uh, the career that you've had has had a positive effect on people. Uh, it's been a great feeling. It really has been. Yeah, you should see Greg. He's in here very gently kind of nodding his head. Yes, up and down. You know, let me let me point out, I think a lot of people maybe forget, Al, that uh, you were part of the Diamondback broadcast team in the first year or two. Yes, I was. Yeah, right. you 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 filled in on radio. You filled in yeah. on television, and uh, right. I remember that. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Yeah, 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 I yeah remember absolutely, that. Yeah. absolutely. I do recall. Yeah, that. I do that. Yeah, recall. right. Yeah. Al is a big part of that. Well, Al, it's wonderful to hear your voice. Uh, of course, on behalf of all Valley sports fans, we all hope your retirement is going very, very well. And we appreciate you giving up a few minutes of your time on this Wednesday to honor Greg tonight, because uh, certainly he is worthy of it. And we appreciate you being a big part of it. Okay. Well, it's just uh, an honor to me, and uh, as Greg knows, uh, through the years, we probably talk once a week, and it's not always about sports, the Suns or the Diamondbacks, but about life in general, and I can't tell you the relationship uh, has meant a great deal to me through the years and continues to, and I'm just uh, so pleased that through the years, I was a small part of the success that Greg has, has attained. Uh, Great career, great broadcaster, great guy, and I think that sums it up in a in a in a hurry. In a hurry. Thanks, Al. I really appreciate that. And uh, you know what you mean to me. And uh, 
I'll probably give you a call tomorrow or the next day, and uh, we'll talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stay Get well, Al. Okay. Yeah, Get I know. It was ni- they got a nice one today. No doubt about that. They needed <laughs> right. that. Yeah. Stay well, Al. We appreciate the time. Dal McCoy joining us here on Arizona Sports.